Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop and today I'm going to be modifying this BSR turntable Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. What am I going to do to this? I'm going to change the cartridge from ceramic to magnetic. Now, I'm going to have to obviously make some modifications to the head shell, but I think I can pull this off, so let's see what we got to work with. I think first act of business is to take the old cartridge out. And I've lost my screwdriver. Just when I need to find it, just when I need it, I lose it. Okay, so, gotta get the old cartridge out. And I've got a lot of other stuff getting in the way. I'm trying to get this, ah, uh, crap. Didn't want to do that. Just didn't want to just try not to damage it. There's a wire in the way, that's why it won't stay up. And of course the camera wasn't seeing it. Anyway, this cartridge is not original to the thing. This is another one I put in from an 80s... From that video, More Bond Crap, you may remember that one. Well, that's the cartridge that came out of this. I mean, out of that thing. Now I'm just taking it out. As you can see, I just put it in with tape. It's not the perfect way to do it, but it worked. Now I'll just unclip it, hopefully without breaking any of these little wires because they are quite fragile. And that's the old cartridge out. Now I'm going to take the head shell off, which can be taken off by this screw here. I'm probably, my hands are probably getting in the way here. Can't really see because the camera screen is facing the other way so I'm not actually sure what I'm filming. Now this should just slide off. And it won't. Okay, I've absolutely no idea why that won't come off. I'm pretty sure nothing short of dynamite's going to get that thing to come off, but I don't want to damage it. Anyway, let's have a look at what came in the mail. This should be the magnetic cartridge that I'm going to put on. And if it isn't, I'll have wasted a lot of time making this video. Oh, yes, there is something in here after all. There we go. An Audio Technica 1891 cartridge with a stylus on it and the fitting screws. At first, let's just see how well this will fit into the thing. Okay, that seems to fit in just nicely. I'm just going to need to drill a couple of holes into the head shell, then I'll be able to fit this cartridge. Right, well, now I've drilled two holes into the head shell. Hopefully, the same width and everything for the cartridge, which I'm going to put in. And here I have it up in the air like a cat's foot when he's licking his bum. Anyway, now time to put everything on. Okay, well, I've drilled the holes and put the screws in. I'm now going to put the cartridge in. Oh. I just got to make sure which way is positive and negative. Right, okay, positive is at the top of it. And look what it says here. I don't know if you can make that out. Made in Japan. Looks like some people still do care. Okay, we'll just slide that in there. Okay, is that in as far as it will go? Okay, now it is. Let's check that these wires can reach. Oh yeah, they're fine. Now I've got to put the screw and the nuts in, and this could take some time, so I'm going to pause while I do this. Okay, that's screwed in there now. Next thing I've got to do is put the wires on. And this could prove to be a little bit tricky, because I think the pins are a little bit thicker than what we've got here. I'll just try... Oh, they're going to go on just fine, actually. As a matter of fact, they're a little bit thinner than I thought. I might have to solder these on, because they're not staying on very good. 
Okay, after a lot of panting and shouting and swearing at this thing, I finally got it in. You can pretty much see I've got that all wired in now. There are a couple of things I'm going to need to do before I can test it, of course. One thing to do is to adjust the weight. Don't know if you can see it, maybe if I just move it over a little bit. You can see there's a little screw sort of thing there. I've put that so the weight's on the minimum, but it still feels a little bit weighty. It might be alright, though. Another thing I'm going to need to do is when I have this with the ceramic pickup in it, I'm going to have to take out these two attenuating resistors. This was so I could use the ceramic pickup with a magnetic pickup, but now I'm not going to need those. Now I'm not going to oil the bearings or anything because they've had a damn good oil already. That's turning quite freely. One little other thing that I have done to this is I've put foil all around the uh, cable that carries the signal from the cartridge to these uh, little things here. So hopefully we shouldn't get too much trouble with hum. Anyway, let's hook this thing up and test it. Okay, well, here it is. I've put the cartridge in and put the needle on it, or stylus, or whatever the hell you want to call it. I did find that even with the weight turned down to as low as it will go, it's still a little bit heavy, so... On the back I've put a little bit of a counterweight, I guess you could call it that. That seems to work pretty good. I have it connected up to my work in progress amplifier. And now, let's hear how it sounds. I hope I won't get into any trouble about this thing. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit of adjustment to the uh, tone arm. There's a little screw right here to adjust where it actually drops the thing on the record. I think that's about the only thing I'm going to do, but it does sound pretty good. I'd like to have turned it up louder than I've got it, but I don't really want to annoy anybody. So you could have he heard it better. Anyway, I am going to do a comparison video comparing the sound quality of magnetic and ceramic cartridges. I've already got half of that video done, recording a record with the ceramic cartridge, so in the next video, we're recording the same record with this one. But I guess that's about it for this episode, so until next time, goodbye. Well, that's just about it for this episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Remember, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe by clicking on me right now. And don't forget to tell your friends about Cool Dude Clem and his electronic workshop. Also, if you want to see the previous episode of Cool Dude Clem's electronic workshop, click on the box on the right. Anyway, that's it for this episode, so until next time...